Ivory is a hard, white material from the tusks, traditionally elephants, and teeth of animals that consists mainly of dentite, one of the physical structures of teeth and tusks. The chemical structure of teeth and tusks of mammals is the same regardless of the species of origin. The trade in certain teeth and tusks other than elephant is well established and widespread. Therefore, ivory can correctly be used to describe any mammalian teeth or tusks of commercial interest which are large enough to be carved or scrimshawed. Ivory has been valued since ancient times in art or manufacturing for making a range of items from ivory carvings to false teeth, piano keys, fans, and dominoes. Elephant ivory is the most important source, but ivory from mammoth, walrus, hippopotamus, sperm whale, killer whale, narwhal, and warthog are used as well. Elk also have two ivory teeth, which are believed to be the remnants of tusks from their ancient ancestors. A Roman writer in the 3rd century claimed that Celtic peoples in Ireland would decorate their sword hilts with the teeth of beasts that swim in the sea. Adonan of Ionia wrote a story about St. Columbus giving a sword decorated with carved ivory as a gift that a penitent would bring to his master so he could redeem himself from slavery. The Chinese have long valued ivory for both art and utilitarian objects. South Asian kingdoms included tusks of Indian elephants in their annual tribute canvases to China. Chinese craftsmen carved ivory into making everything from images of deities to pipe stems and in pieces of opium pipes. The Buddhist cultures of Southeast Asia, including Menar, Thailand, Laos, and Cambodia, traditionally harvest ivory from their domesticated elephants. Ivory was prized for containers due to its ability to keep an airtight seal. It was also commonly carved into elaborate seals utilized by officials to sign documents and decrees by stamping them with their unique official seal. Ivory is a symbol of incorruptibility, purity, rank, and protection. The symbolism of aloofness in example, the ivory tower probably derives from the high status of ivory at most times in all ancient cultures. Elephant or well ivory was credited with healing powers in the East and its Christi Christian association with purity and in particular with the Virgin Mary are linked to its whiteness. Ivory is linked to trade in many areas of the world as a significant resource. In the ancient kingdom of Benin, the artists were renowned for their skill and craft with ivory. In Greek myth, ivory represented the idea of false dreams or fancies that would not come true versus the gate of horn, which was truth. Socrates wrote, listen then, I said to my dream to see whether it comes through horn or through ivory. As written by the epic poet Nonus, as Morpheus slept, the vision of a dream cajoled him, beguiling his mind after flitting through the gates of ivory. And also referenced in Virgil's The Enid, two gates the silent house of sleep adorned, of polished ivory this, that of transparent horn. True visions through transparent horn arise, through polished ivory pass deluding lies, of various things discording as he pass, and she's hither bends his step at last. Then through the gate of ivory he dismissed his valiant offspring and divine guest. Ivory has shown a particular place of interest for humans and it's typically held in very high regard. It's been linked to civilizations and trade all over the world and is an important piece in understanding more about ourselves and our ancient civilizations.